Yo, what's going on Xbox and PC fans? It is Josh bringing you guys some news today. AMD's recently announced RX series of GPUs have leaked benchmarks of 3D Mark Online. So we now have some unofficial benchmarks for all three Radeon RX GPUs uh, from the RX 480, which is the high-end card, going for only $199. Uh, for the 4 gigabyte variant and 229 for an 8 gigabyte card uh, all the way down to the Radeon RX 460 which is assumed to be coming in at only $99 um, but these cards are looking to be absolute tiny little monsters for the money and for the wattage AMD claiming an advancement of 2.8 times the previous performance per watt over their previous generation GPUs and I gotta tell you, it's looking looking like a pretty strong claim here uh, on AMD's behalf. Basically, AMD has made Polaris 10 and Polaris 11, and Polaris 10 will be powering the RX 480 as well as the RX 470 uh, in a cut-down variant from the RX 480, which is the full Polaris 10. But the uh, RX 460 sporting Polaris 11 is exactly half the size, and uh, will be getting about half the performance at, surprise, surprise, about half the wattage. So these cards looking to be really, really strong. The RX 480 has come out and is basically outperforming cards that are just $400, $500, $600 cards. Um, anything from the RX 390 all the way up to the very, very top of AMD's current food chain, $600 GPU and the AMD Fury X cards, beating the NVIDIA GTX 980 and nipping at the heels of the 980 Ti for $199. Other than that, the RX 470 coming in, looking very promising, bringing VR-ready gaming to the masses at the assumed price point of $150. This card could be absolutely huge for that space. And if people out there are looking to get a quality, very good, capable of VR, for God's sakes, GPU in their system, and do not have an aftermarket or a very robust power supply, maybe you guys didn't build your own PCs, you just want to go out there to the store with your regular store-bought computer and pop a GPU in your system and get into the VR game, for 150 bucks, most PSUs, power supply units, will power a card like the RX 470 or even the 480 and give you some absolutely phenomenal performance with very little heat, very little power consumption, and just absolutely crazy performance for the money. The RX 460, which was uh, claimed to be kind of the card for those eSports enthusiasts at E3 by AMD, is looking to be just that. This is 75 watts, does not even require a hookup to the power supply of its own, will run uh, all the required power right off of the PCIe slot. It only requires 75 watts, and that's what it gets out of that slot. But that card with... I mean, it looks like a friggin' sound card. I mean, it has a barely even a fan on it. The card is absolutely minuscule, uses almost no power whatsoever. And this card reportedly able to run 1080p gaming with some pretty good quality settings and just not even use any power from your power supply. I mean, these three cards are looking like they're going to be absolute monsters when they come out later this month. So a couple weeks from now, we're going to have some really, really compelling performance at a very, very solid price point and very, very reasonable and just awesome lack of power consumption. These things are going to be cool, they're going to be quiet, they're going to consume a very small amount of power for what they're doing for you guys uh, in your boxes, and hopefully uh, you can get some of these things in my hands here and get them tested uh, very, very soon. I get these uh, cards in-house, you guys will be the first to know it, obviously. Looking forward to getting these things in my hands and um, playing around, see what AMD has done with this new technology. but. Yeah, guys, numbers are on the screen. Links are down below. Hope you enjoyed the video, and I'll catch you in the next one. See ya.